Welcome back. Put him on your Welcome labor. Welcome back. Our he's body. Like, he's Plan. Both my legs. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Proceed with the planning. Alright, so my idea is since the paladin knows how to speak better than all of us combined, that we let him do the talking and he'll be my representative. I'll be a silent party in this discussion. Also, Imch, you be quiet too. Please, for the love of Just everything. Can we barter Evander's sweet ass <laughs> to who? Uh, I'm okay with this as long as if we get out of here alive. I'm cool with that. You and might we... not. <laughs> well then, no, I'm not cool with this. I don't think we should. Um, let me see how long enhance ability lasts. What little spell is that? Just remember, be like the fawns. All right, you know what the fawns know who he is. He's cool. Be cool. What's an hour? So, before <laughs> we leave this room. Yeah. Alright, so. Set up a, a trade agreement with Apple Skyar. We trade him Mithril. Because oh. that's our primary export. And, and Adamantine. You do first. And Adamantine. Which are most likely hard to come by on this plane. I'm going to say so. I assume. With my role. And you're going to. We're gonna ask him. Well, for religion the... would, would give you more insight on the god aspect. Um, you actually do see that um, they have to use different materials to craft things with here because everything melts. <laughs> it's super hot. Like even in the side of this building, it is Toasty. almost unbearably hot. Okay. Um, I forgot. We're all sweating. About this. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. especially you. You might d pass out from heat exhaustion. Uh, exhaustion. Well, I'm good. You're a bear. Um, You're a bear. Bears can disperse heat quite nicely. It's why they hibernate in the painting. winter and then and they're good in the summer. You know, they're out in the summer. They're that's, hanging out. They're having a good time. They're hunting <laughs> salmon. That's not what I mean. <laughs> 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 Roll for it. Roll for it real quick. Oh my god. Roll for bear knowledge. Roll for bear knowledge. I am a bear. I think I got this. I am proficient in nature. Oh, really? I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Alright, so... <I> know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I was already proficient in nature. Um, you see, there is actually a lot of adamantine here. Like, used. Um, mithril is occasionally used. Um, there's a lot of... It's inferior metal. There's a lot of alloys that are very impressive. Um, you kind of see a, one metal, it's kind of a modeling of different colors. Also your beer. Oh! Frostbeard Ale! How great would it be to quench your thirst in a fire realm with Frost Beer Ale? Like, that's, that right there, I mean, that's a co-commercial. Another right there key point here, <laughs> and this is very important, and it needs to be considered, giants hate dwarves. Yeah, true. I <laughs> so mean, like, hey, it's not—it's not, it's not a nice meme. Everyone likes beer, and it goes both ways. <laughs> yeah. Do any of us have a hat of disguise? Yes, we do. I need to borrow that. I agree. But that's a tune mint. I can trade out the rod. Fair. I think it's either I have it. Oh no, wait, Eisenschmidt had it. We looted Eisenschmidt. Looted yeah, you looted him. So. <laughs> so it's probably in my bag. <laughs> we looted Ivan Smith, <laughs> our best friend. We also looted Terrell, so... Well, yeah. yeah. I, he did tell you to fuck Man. off, though. <laughs> so did Ivan Schmidt. Well, you can't take it with you. So. Exactly. I, I think it's in rare instances, you actually can. Who has, the, who has the butter bag? <laughs> I do. So it's inside the butter bag. Butter bag doesn't hold shit but liquor. Oh, wait, what's the other thing? Uh, uh, bag, bag of holding. holding. I have the bag of holding. Then check your bag. <laughs> Have a disguise. <laughs> so I'm gonna unattune, unattune the rod of worldly might. And just be, be a, a okay. small human. Just <laughs> yeah, I should be here. <laughs> I can, if I remember right, with the I'm, I mean dwarves are medium creatures anyway. I'm just gonna yeah. be a tiefling. There you go. Okay. Why can you speak not? infernal? <laughs> nope. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. Um. Shit. Asimar it's, would not work. It is either. likely that because Zakishi is a big authority figure, <coughs> um, that he, he he likely speaks other things besides giant, giant, and infernal I would say so. and the like. <coughs> you speak giant. Should I we? do speak giant because I hate them. Hate them a lot. 
You are not having a good time in this section. No. You're hot. There's a lot of giants here. Yeah, I'm just seething under all the sweat. <laughs> Kitty, shut up. I'm so pet you. So hey, buddy. Like Wait, no, don't leave. You're so cute. Rude. Rudeness. All right. Mm. You gonna go get you know all of no. everybody's business? I think I'll stay a dwarf. And try and try and play off of this. Because if you're trying to do something, like mm. a dwarven kingdom, I mean that's the only game. I, that's the only play I've got. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna keep my rod at you. Cool. You ready to go? At least not when it's in the bag. You guys ready with your plan? So we're right. going to Grab bargain. You're talking. Yeah. Okay. okay. He turned over the thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> do we know where? the house is no <laughs> we asked for directions yeah but you he told you that it was in this dish like in, in this section you weren't given exact well what house has the most either which one looks the nicest nicest there it is okay can we excuse me pardon me, me. Excuse try me. to like <laughs> Almost like reconnaissance, like sort of like eavesdrop on yeah. conversations. And you just, can. I mean, like it would take a while. Say, I'm sure you can do that. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah I, I'm fine. really worried right now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need two rolls from you. Okay. So you guys are like leaving this house. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Leaving the non-detection. Uh, right, is that cool, cool with everybody? Like, yeah. I mean, we gotta find out so, where the place is, right? You're gonna rather... give me a stealth roll first, and then investigation. I'm not okay. worried. He started the, the timer thing. Oh, that was just for shiggles. Oh. To scare you guys. Okay. It worked. <laughs> All right. So now. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Stealth first. Stealth pass out trace active. Yep. That, or, that lasts for an hour? Uh. Concentration after an hour. Okay. Yeah, cool. concentration hour. Great. Great. Um. All right, so. A lot. Even. Yeah, that's a. Uh, 40 something? 45. Yeah. Okay, cool. You are fucking invisible. <laughs> uh, give me your in lovely investigation roll. It's, it's not as you lovely. You do speak giant, so that's good. You speak common giant, elven, Is this dwarven, a... draconic, and thief scan. Gotcha. A, this is a city of giants. This oh. section is. It's a, that's what I mean. It's a giant neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, not so confident in this roll. It, like, it, it, it sensed my fear. Uh, that's only an 11. Okay. Roll poorly. So you go uh, to kind of listen in on a few conversations. With the 11, you are able to pick up a few things, actually. Nice. Uh, the first is you overhear the name Sakishi. And they talk about his clan. So you figure out the clan name, which is uh, Chicka Chicka. <laughs> I'm clever finding that out now. Zakishi Chicka Chicka. Is there a hyphen in there or is it just one word? There's a hyphen in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, Break you up. Chicka Chicka. Quick side note. Is there a spell that allows you to speak other languages? Yes, it's uh, tongues. tongues. It's fifth level? I was just trying Third. to find one. It might be fourth. Third. I think it's fourth. It's in there somewhere. It's in the three to five range. Third. Is it third? Yep. Okay. Yes. There's tongues, and then there's also one that lets you understand other languages. Yeah, right? comprehend that's languages. The, that one I that's know. That's first level. Yeah, that's, that's comprehend. Yeah, it's a third level divination. Is it C H I K A or C K A? It's C H I C A hyphen C H I C A. It doesn't really matter if you pronounce it right. Chicka chicka. Chicka oh. chicka. Okay. All right. But nothing to indicate a direction to head towards. Uh, no. You have to. So, your pass out trace will end because yep. you spend a little bit of time listening on conversations. Um, give me one more investigation check. Yes. <laughs> you can also <laughs> actually like address someone and say, "Hey, you know where Sakishi lives?" Because <laughs> yeah, like I don't really want to do that. That's fair. I really don't, especially if there's a giant. Because. 
Okay, that one's better. That's a 20. Okay. Um, through listening in on a few more conversations, you do find that uh, you figure out the general location of the house. Cool. Well, it's the mansion, I guess, that he lives in. That's, like, for us, like, square footage-wise, like, a very large castle. Yes. His house, um, if you exclude the, uh, the actual, like, mine, mine depth, is bigger than Appleshire. He's got a big house. Of course, he's a big dude. So, it coincides. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, you have information. <coughs> I return and relay information. Said okay. information. Got it. Okay, cool. So, the group makes their way through uh, the city roads. Now, these roads in this area are about 40 feet. Pretty good size roads. <clears throat> kind of like a. Well, no, I guess it would have to be bigger than that, wouldn't it? We'll say that. I'll figure it out. We'll say 80 feet. Like a, That's a big fucking road. Like an eight lane highway. Kind yeah. Of width. <clears throat> and you reach a. Uh, what you could classify as a sort of richer district. Which is surprising because you are already in a very opulent place. Yeah. Um, you you get to a street that is just pretentious, <laughs> like <laughs> shows of wealth, just to show the wealth, like stupid, like intricate, intricate golden and mithril statues. Pure gold and mithril and stuff. Like it's really kind of ridiculous. You come upon the biggest house. It's kind of obvious. This is the one. This is the one. I found it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, yeah. all right, cool. Yeah. There is a fire giant standing in front of the doorway. Uh, who, Does talk. he see us? Well, at this or point... Or do we, like, approach him? Yeah, at like this you're, point, you're not... I want to cast tongues on... It's hard. It's hard to stealth. You yeah, in the middle of the street. In the middle of the street, yeah. you can just can't do it. I'm no. just walking up importantly. Like, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna cast small. tongues on both yeah. you and the uh, paladin. Uh, paladin. paladin. What's his yeah. name? Uh, Brand. 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 Cool. So this house, because like and I cast enhance ability on Brand. Brand. Okay. Most of these houses, with the uh, medium sized stairwell, are like only on one side. This house has a both sides of the like staircase. Um, staircase is probably 50 feet across, uh, and there's like five foot sections on either end that are like have like little steps. It's a lot of stairs for us. It is a lot of stairs. I have short legs. Um, and by the way, it's probably about five steps up, which isn't a huge amount of steps realistically to get up there, but. Are you doing the paladin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tongues, you can understand any language and speak to any creature that speaks at least one language. So. And it will understand you. Yeah. That's How long super. Does it last? For an hour. That's dope. Yeah. You're good and you. I guess you're speaking giant. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, All right. And Bob doesn't understand Or if doesn't understand him. Does that matter? No. I don't think. No. No. I understand. Understand giant? You do. Yep. Okay. I hate them. I you walk really, up. really not a fan of what we're doing. The, and I'm gonna the do fire comprehend giant. languages on myself just so I know what's and going on. Like the, the, killing all them all. the steps, which are about That's like, what's upsetting. The normal steps are about three feet up, like three feet per step, so you could theoretically climb up those. But the actual steps is like three three little steps per one step there. And it kind of opens up to this like forty foot by forty foot flat space. Leading over to the door, uh, which has a uh, solid, some kind of dark metal knocker on it, and there's a fire giant. Uh, he's Standing dressed. He's dressed almost like he could be, like the butler, 
but he also looked like he could be a of guard. Of sorts, but like he's he's a big muscly dude, right? He sees you all approach, kind of looks over you all. Doesn't see obviously the giants among you. Yeah. And he uh, he speaks in common, because most people speak common. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's the language of trade. <laughs> uh, Brand's actually gonna um, reply in giant. Just, just like what? reply in giant. Who are you, and what is your business here? We are the adventurers' fate, and we oh, have come to deal with Zakishi. Hmm. And speaking in giant. Oh. Purposefully. Okay. He, uh... Well, technically, tongues would make him hear whatever language he most used to speak. He's in. most fluent in, which would be giant. Uh, the water. He, he nods, in, impressed. One moment. And he... He opens the door. Uh, he... He frowns a bit. Me. At you. And uh, any kingly vestments I have, I'm wearing. Like no, if I've got that's... a cape, I've got a cape on right now. Okay. <laughs> a rod and scepter. Got my got my rod of lordly might out. Yeah. <laughs> um. Actually, no. I might have the, the uh, not a tune, but the the mall of Athelstan. Okay. You just have it. Just out. Gotcha. Uh, Everybody here is like armed with teeth. That's cool. So are we. <laughs> no, like I'm saying, you guys are. Ah. Like it's it's not. We're bristling with weapons. Yes, you are bristling with weapons, no, no. indeed. The fire giant is. I guess they're refilling drinks, or something along those lines. We'll give them a moment. Uh, so the fire giant goes into the house, and he's gone for about. Two or three minutes, right? And then we can feel it when he comes back, though. Mm-hmm. Just boom, boom. <laughs> uh, not really. This is very, very well, well built, well built kind of places. Uh, I'm you baking out here. You say bacon? Someone say bacon. It's, it's, That's yeah. just the smell coming out of me armor. Mmm. <laughs> 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 gonna make these giants hungry. Uh, they, they just might. Giants very much enjoy the taste of dwarf. Yeah. Don't we all? Good thing Don't there's wait. only one of them with us. What was that? My phone. <laughs> it like went in between the chairs too, which is like perfect. Sweet. It was like perfect. Uh, um, he comes back. He says, "You have been expected. Please come in." Whoa! Well, Thank you. I didn't make an appointment. <laughs> And you were led the four through the, uh, <laughs> the yes, uh, yay, Far away. Uh, down a hallway and up some stairs, which also have the little smaller stairs. But this is people size stairs. Yeah, but this is like up to the second floor, <laughs> so it's like it's like forty feet of steps. It's a long way. Four, it's lot, it's four stories of steps. It's a lot of steps. Elder, do you have tensor floating disc? Please. Nope. Not it couldn't carry you anyway. Yeah. Why? Because I think it's its weight capacity is 300 pounds. Yeah. Call like fat. One or two of us. Call me fat. Um, I'm saying your you're armor. In full load. plate armor Was, and you're a stocky oh, dwarf. Fair. You weigh <laughs> with all of your time. gear more than 300 pounds. <laughs> Alone. You probably weigh close to 300 pounds without your armor. Your 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 burly dwarf. I mean, that's just how it is. Can I say someone else cast that door for me, or should I? Like yes, Guinness. Merrick. Okay. You don't know plain like shit. Okay. I don't think you do anyway. I could. I know, I have ninth level. I just, I never picked all my spells. Oh, it's like you should do that. Yeah, that's there's that's, there's like fucking in, eighty of them in the near future. Yeah, I'll get it. That's that's why we'll uh, like like try and play your character. It's like. Well, it's because I just had on the app. Yeah, it's, it's on his app. It's like, oh, I'm just going to have him go away. It's yeah. just easier that way. I'll, I'll write the list down of what I can choose from and write yeah. down what can be prepared. I just haven't... I haven't even selected every spell that I can. Okay. <laughs> Not to mention what you could have picked up. Upstairs, exactly. you are led into a... Uh, through this 
very thick door into what appears to be so the uh, construction an, an office slash uh, almost like a throne room. Not exactly that. Right? This is not a king per se, but his desk and his, uh, his sort of workspace is on an elevated platform within the room. Uh, it's a throne. In, in a place <laughs> of importance. Right? Um, you can tell that the desk is made of some kind of wood. But not normal wood, because we're in the plane of fire. Not normal wood. Iron it's wood, isn't it? unclear as to what it is exactly. You've never seen this type of wood. I'm going to guess it's iron wood. That's your metagame knowledge. Now, I mean, just... um, everybody give me perception checks. I forget that Brandon and I both have advantage on these. Oh, Technical the, shields. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, 27 for Elkar with a natural 20. Delightful. You're wasting and those 20s. <laughs> You're burning them. 16. Huh? 16. 16. 15 for Brandon. Okay. Because he's not good at that. 22. Okay. Oh, gotcha. It was 16 as well. 16. You got a 7 oh, garbage. Oh, gar. You rolled the highest with a 27, which is very nice. You actually notice, as as you've been walking through the house, um, small things, uh, small little clues, I guess, that show the general state of what's happening. Right? So, everything in this house appears to be very wealthy, but you can tell that a lot of it is showing signs of disrepair. They're running out of money. Uh, they need cash. And good thing you noticed it that. Seems like since I have the money, <laughs> you can you can put together that it they is need likely some. that they are uh, uh, have run into a little bit of hard time. In the financials, um, so hurricane it came through. Zakishi <laughs> destroyed him. Zakishi, as you walk in, you can see him. Uh, he's actually he is blindfolded, right? Oh, of shit. course he is. And he's doing one of those. And yeah. in front of him is a uh, a, a very curious looking pistol. We recognize it as a pistol because we know this because guy. You know if we guy. didn't know him, we yeah. see a curious looking device. Yeah. And <laughs> I was he like, is, what? That's a weird L shape. Uh, he is stripping it apart and putting it back together. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> <Jesus>. like <laughs> wicked fast. Sweet. Like stupidly like fast. Like Army Ranger fast. Yeah. And one thing that you Does notice it, about this gun, which watch? is different, <laughs> it's different from anything you've seen Evander use. Um, it doesn't have conventional bullets. What it has, as far as you can tell, you would be able to kind of pick it up more than they would. Right. But uh, in the back of the pistol, there's an area where he attaches this, like, slightly glowing cartridge, uh, cartridge kind of thing. It's like, a, it's like a power cell. Kind of thing. Oh. Cool. Uh, now, this, now, this pistol is like... 15, you know, it's fucking huge. It's for a giant. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's for a huge creature. It's artillery rounds for right. us. <laughs> it's three feet. 50 caps. It's barrel is yeah. three feet long. Kind of. I mean, it's yeah, a stand, it's like a standard pistol is like, um, like a seven inch barrel. Say, right. For, like, behind him, tall. behind him on yeah, top, the bottom. wall on display uh, is a gun that has a very long, very large barrel. Uh, probably about 10, 12 feet long. That one actually like, is artillery. Like one um, of us could probably like fit human inside equivalent the to barrel. an elephant gun? Well, you recognize what it is. Of it's, course. That's... It's a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, and I, I just like... <laughs> I just blew my mind is blown. I'm just like, we gotta make friends with this guy. <laughs> you are my hero. We gotta make friends with this guy. And... So I, I start fixing my hair. Okay. He is good impression. Most 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 fire giants, <laughs> you know, have like long red hair and like red beards and everything. Um, his hair is cut 
uh, relatively short. Um, give me one second. Mm -hmm. And he has no beard. He's clean shaved. Keep it out of his way. Standing. Yeah. Okay. Go Ready? Ahead. Yeah. All right. 